So it's YouTube number 200. And my last one as youth worker at All Saints. And I was thinking, what can I talk about on my last one? Um, I can keep it really simple and just three verses. So the first one is a really well-known one, which is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him won't die, but have eternal life. My prayer is for those of you who haven't yet taken that step to follow Jesus, I'd encourage you to go for it. It will give you a meaning and a purpose and a joy as you move from darkness to light. And um, it's why I do this, because I know it to be true for myself, as do two billion people in the world as well. What a day to do it, to follow Jesus today. And then my second one is for those of you who are already Jesus followers. And this is from Ephesians. So it's from Ephesians 3, verses 16 and 17. And it says, I pray that from his glorious and limited resources, he'll empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. Wow, what a verse, or what a couple of verses. And my prayer is that your roots will go deep. And the only way to do that is to abide in Jesus. It's to do those spiritual disciplines, of praying, reading the Bible, applying it. It's about fasting, it's about giving, it's about sacrifice, and it's about community. And when you do that, your roots will grow deep. And we need our roots to grow deep because I think it's gonna get harder and harder to be a Jesus follower. And let's not forget the end game, that one day Jesus wipes away every tear. And then finally, it's this one here. Okay, so it's Philippians 1, verse three. And it's Paul talking, and he writes, every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. It is, I cannot describe how many people in All Saints have blessed me over the 23 years we've been at this church. And I'm not just talking about adults here, I'm talking about youth. Some of the things you've said which have just stuck with me and helped me to become more and more like Jesus, more and more like the person I'm meant to be. And I've got a long way to go. But I just want to say thank you. You're very, very special in my hearts. We don't forget you just because you're moving 20 miles away down the road. Please, please stay in contact. Please remember us in your prayers, especially for my family, as we settle into new jobs, new house, new place, new schools, and all that. But we will be back in Bath. But just to say thank you. Thank you so much. And may God bless you.